everybody, it's your old pal Tuna here and welcome back to another video. Now, I don't mean to be dramatic, but we are launching into what is bound to be a very epic and very stressful week. Originally, this was going to be a prep vlog for all of the work that I have to do to set up for my art crawl exhibit, which is kind of just a local gallery slash solo market that I'm gonna be doing nearby. I just today heard back from a local brand of retail stores where you can rent space as an artist in their storefront and stock your own supplies. And the launch day is one of the days of the art crawl which is literally next weekend. So it is Friday, October 6th right now, and over the next week, I'm going to be prepping to set up and stock my shelf at this new retail store. The cat is walking on the desk. That's what's making the camera jiggle a little bit. And I'm going to be setting up and exhibiting for two days at this art crawl thing. To say that I'm in over my head would not be an exaggeration, but I thrive under pressure, so I'm actually so excited. and. Ordinarily, I wouldn't overdo it on the scheduling like this, but just happens to be very nearby to where I actually live, which is super convenient for me because I don't drive. <laughs> I know that there's a wait list usually for this stuff and I really didn't wanna miss my opportunity. It is also a very expensive decision that I have made. I will tell you all about that when we get into it later in the video. But yeah, I think this one's gonna be wild. So buckle your seatbelts, make sure you have some water on hand and let's get started. Hello everyone, good morning. So it is Sunday, October 8th right now. We are T minus what, five days from, well, let me catch you up to where we are now. So over the last two days, I did a massive amount of scheduling to like figure out what I need to do in order to achieve the three major like events that are going on all on the same weekend. And I've narrowed it down to, I will be going to set up for the makers shop retail opportunity on Thursday night. I will be setting up for the art crawl on Friday night and Saturday morning. And then I will be at the art crawl all day on Saturday and Sunday. And this is all on top of the Meowloween drop, which is happening Wednesday slash Friday. And yeah, <laughs> again, it's Sunday. Before we get into the list of things to do today, I wanted to give you the natural, like, can you believe my hair? What was I doing last night? But I think I'm gonna love myself, freshen myself up. And before we begin, I just wanna show you what the apartment looks like right now, cause yeah. All right, so you were just sitting on top of this amazing yellow box. The yellow box has original art in it for the gallery show because this little man right here just can't help himself. Uh, we still have all of the Meowloween items, plus some of my laundry, which is hanging all around the apartment while the ink cures, which should be ready on Wednesday. This is a box of stuff for the makers thing. This is my pile for the art crawl. There are some more piles over here. I have to paint this object later today, maybe, actually probably later this week. And I feel fairly certain that by the end of everything I have to do, it's gonna be an even bigger mess. <laughs> but before we do anything, let's love ourselves and let's take a shower and get dressed. I'm very sorry. I can't be bothered to have hair today, so it's hiding and I don't have time to look any other way. So. Today I am working, I'm working on Meowloween in tandem with the shop in-person thing. What I have to do is inventory and itemize all of my items for both of those events. I was looking at the wrong side of the camera again, god damn it. I always get confused as to which side my camera's on. Hello, now I am making eye contact with you. I've chosen 16 designs from my sticker sheet collection because that's the amount that fits comfortably on the rack that I've chosen to use for the retail display. And if you're curious, I make that decision based on a number of things. I've chosen to put all of my seasonal Halloween items up because that's where the next two weeks is gonna be at. I have also selected my all-time bests to keep those in stock there and also anything that feels appropriate to Vancouver specifically. Like I have a Pacific Northwest animal sheet, I have a mushroom sheet, and I have an Arctic critters type of sheet. Same with the thrift one, I feel like that kind of falls under the category of stuff people in Vancouver are interested in. So I'm going to input all of these into the POS system that is required by the maker's 
brand to do. I thought it was gonna be really complicated, but it's super easy. It's just gonna be time consuming because there's no kind of copy paste. I have to do everything manually. And then when that's done, I will create little tags for them all, which I will then stick on the back. And what I actually have to do is stick my own branding on all of them, which I've done in a previous video. I basically just use labels that have like Art by Tuna on them and stick them on. Gotta get a little extra advertising in on there when people buy something. And then I am going to sleeve them all. I bought perfect fit four by six sleeves. I think it's just like in a retail environment, if I'm charging $10 for a sticker sheet, I think that that level of packaging has to be just a little bit higher than it would be in person. And then when they're packaged, I will stick the product SKU price code on them. That is the most important thing to do today. And then for Meowloween, I have to measure and make listings for all of the items, but this is technically not a Meowloween vlog. <laughs> so that's gonna be going on in the background, but let's focus on getting these products ready to go. Cause it's not just the sticker sheets. I've got prints, pins, tote bags, whatever, whatever the heck else it is that I sell. <laughs> and there is not a moment to spare. So let's, let's get to it. I just wanted to check in because it's 8.30 now and I just finished doing everything for the makers um, shop thing. So yeah, my estimations as to how long this is all gonna take me were 
quite a bit off. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow morning now to measure the Meowloween items and get them into the shop because I deserve to rest. <laughs> I have been stress eating pumpkin pie all day long and I think it's time to tuck in with some stardew and maybe take a look at this new book that came. I ordered so much stuff for like these three events that are concurrently happening this weekend from Amazon because I like needed it right away and it was all kinds of retail display and yada yada but in and amongst all the packages I've been receiving for the past three days was this book which I had pre-ordered back in the summer which is a, I think it's like a picture book for adults that is written and illustrated by not only John Cashed, but Bill Watterson, who is the man behind Calvin and Hobbes. So he has not been making anything since Calvin and Hobbes. This is his first return to literature. And yeah, I'm a huge fan. So I'm really excited to feel feels and look at some very cool art. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow to do Halloween stuff that I won't put in this video and possibly some stuff for the art crawl because I think I'm ready. Everything is done for makers to get it up in the shop. Thursday night is when I am planning to go set up, which will give me a few days to troubleshoot and go back and fix stuff if I have to before they officially open on Sunday. But I worked really hard and I'm getting flashbacks to the Meow Fest vlog where I just work so freaking hard and it doesn't pay off at all. And I'm like, think happy thoughts, Tuna. It's not gonna work out that way. It's gonna be better this time. <laughs> I'll sleep on that. See you tomorrow. Hello guys, it's Wednesday Tuna now. Just checking in before I begin my art crawl prep that I think I'm gonna do today. I haven't quite made the list yet because this morning, it's just about two o'clock now, I had to pick up where I left off yesterday and get everything ready for the Meowloween shop drop this evening. <sighs> and when I make the title of this video, my busiest week ever, I am not gonna be kidding because I wasn't even gonna talk about this here in the video, but I have to take a moment to shit on Printful, who I have sung the praises of in previous videos due to the convenience of being able to order things print on demand, but they screwed me over so hard this year with delaying and sidestepping my inquiries about the demo slash sample sweater that I had ordered, which was going to be like the general release item for this year's Meowloween rather than the block printed individual items, which I measured and made listings for all this morning. Because I didn't get it in time, I am now worried that I can't rely on them to get the sweaters to you guys in time. I don't want you to be waiting a month to get these. I don't want to be answering emails when people are looking for these. I don't want to be harassing Printful to send my customers these items. So I have taken things back into my own hands and I had to make a last minute decision to instead of doing digital printing, print on demand stuff to do a pre-order for a uh, line of screen printed sweaters. So in my opinion, they're gonna be a lot nicer <laughs> than the print on demand ones because the screen print, the whites come out so much more crisp and filled. Plus now I can ship them all myself, which means I can slip little goodies and thank you notes in the orders. And my friend who runs the screen printing company that I work with for all my screen printed items was gracious enough to allow a sample version to be made so that I'll be able to have product photos for the launch on Friday. But this literally all happened this morning. I had to reformat the files to be good for print on demand. I had to like crunch all the numbers for how much it was gonna cost for these screen printed items so that I could set the retail cost at a reasonable amount. I just wanted to be able to offer nice stuff from Halloween, and this is the thanks I get <laughs> from the universe. But I'm in pretty good spirits considering that I've been putting out fires all morning. Friendship ended with Printful. Now making everything locally is my best friend. Since everything is ready for makers, and I'm going to set that up tomorrow afternoon, I think I can focus now on the art crawl leftover stuff, which includes a little bit of hands-on making. And I'll probably double check my to-do list because I am literally managing these three things this weekend. And I remembered that Canada Post does this thing called Free Shipping Tuesdays, where you can ship one thing within Canada for free every Tuesday in October. 
and I had to ship a big box of merch to Penticton where I'm going at the end of the month to do a con. And I was gonna pack that up today, but I remembered yesterday that I could ship it for free because it was Tuesday and I had to get all my inventory ready for that too. So it has been, oh my gosh, but let's keep going. We are living the dream <laughs> and hoping it will all pay off, aren't we? Once again, I apologize for my lack of care for my appearance. I promise I will look good tomorrow. <laughs> I'm also loving this like bouncing light that's kind of reminding me, do you remember when you were a kid and you'd put like a buttercup? Also, my son is causing problems. You'd put a buttercup under your chin and if the if your chin was, was yellow, it meant you liked butter. Just me, anyway. So I have just finished the second coat of revamping this thing. Um, if you've watched my previous con vlogs, you are probably aware that I um, have had it up to here with these. I threw one of them away because it had just broken and I really did not want to deal with it anymore. This one was a little bit broken, but I glued it back together and I am freshening it up with, this is my second coat. I'm gonna do at least three, I think. And it's going to live at Makers, so I don't have to think about it. I don't have to look at it. It can just do its job without having to be disassembled. And everything's, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm setting it up tomorrow afternoon and everything's gonna be tuna yellow. It's all gonna be fabulous. Everything is packaged. I think it's gonna come together really, really well. The majority of the rest of the stuff that I have to do for both of the uh, Art Crawl and Makers is just um, printing and cutting stuff out framing stuff, so maybe not that exciting. If we don't get any more clips tonight, then I will see you at setup tomorrow. But I took a little break this afternoon because between the uh, Meowloween shop drop and when I finished all of the stuff I had to do this morning, um, I actually had a couple of hours where I like didn't technically need to be working, so I decided to take it off and I found this little guy at Shoppers. Um, I love Otto. He's one of my favorite Squishmallows and I have him in the miniature version from last year, but um, I'm very glad, very pleased to report that I now have a full-sized one as well. So let me tell you a little bit more about what this opportunity exactly is. Uh, Makers is a chain of shops. This one is in Park Royal, which is in West Vancouver. And the way that it works is creators, as you can see in the space around me, rent out a certain designated space uh, on a three month contract and then it goes to month to month afterwards to stock the shelves yourself with your merchandise. So you're basically given free reign and I had to purchase a floor, um, I guess, book bookshelf, shelf, I, I suppose, <laughs> to put my stuff on, and which I didn't realize when I first signed up, but then thank goodness for Amazon, they could ship me a shelf in just a couple days. Um, and it is quite expensive. It's a little under $500 a month to rent the size that I have rented, which is obviously huge. I basically have floor to ceiling, so if I do wanna go up any higher, I totally can. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to make profit on top of that. This feels like a good time of year to try given that we're entering into the holiday season. So I'm gonna have um, October, November, December, and then half of January to see what sales are like exactly. But I'm just happy if I break even to be honest. I'm just 
kind of excited to do something different and have my, you know, my stuff in the hands of people who probably wouldn't get a chance to grab it in any other situation. Uh, there are, are a bunch of locations that are like, some are more maybe targeted to demographics than that I'm targeting than others. Um, Park Royal maybe isn't going to be the choice. We'll just have to <laughs> wait and see. But I do hope to expand, if this is successful, into some of the other retail locations. Uh, it's just no muss, no fuss. And then I come in like twice a, uh, or every other week to restock the shelves. Um, replenish my supply but they actually like the staff in the store will put out new merchandise if you have it in like a box in the back room which is very cool so yeah they do all the the trouble <laughs> of actually making the sales and I just get to check my little behind the scenes POS and get a dopamine hit every single time someone buys my stuff Okay, everybody, I am in here in Streetcar Brewing getting ready to set up and we literally just got here, unloaded all of the stuff in and I am having a shoe snafu. The sole of my shoe is literally peeling off. The glue has come undone. So the boys have gone back to pick me up a different pair of shoes. I'm gonna get ready, start setting up. Um, and then two days of hanging out. Good morning everyone i'm back in the brewery all alone right now for day two i didn't really get any footage yesterday of like what was going on it just didn't feel like a footagey day mark was hanging out with me so there was a lot of interaction for me to have and also people coming by uh, i'll debrief you about how it all goes very very shortly but i am going to try and get a little more painting live painting done today so hopefully i can grab some clips of that as well but yeah yesterday was super fun i think today's going to be super fun too and yeah I'll, I'll let you know more about it later. And before I take it down, this is the results of the cat drawing contest day one. I am so happy people wanted to play along. 
Hello everyone, so I am filming the end of this video in the setting for next week's video, so spoiler alert, but I wanted to touch base with you about how the weekend went and just my final thoughts about everything. I had such a fun time at the art crawl. Now going into it, I didn't really have any expectations about exactly what I wanted to get out of the weekend. I just thought it was a fun way to connect with the community and to take advantage of an opportunity that had presented itself to me. And so going into it, I was thinking, okay, if I sold a thousand dollars worth of merchandise over the weekend, that would be huge. That would be like the, the top of what I would expect because that's like a two day, $500 each day site sort of market, which is usually my best case scenario for those kinds of slower ones. And what the art crawl was, was a bunch of different artists were displaying their work, some in their home studios, some in local businesses around where I was set up. And the idea is the, the patrons, I guess, are like walking from one location to another, taking a look around, seeing, taking in a little bit of culture and having a day out. And the second thing is, is that this is a fifth, the 15th year, I think, that the uh, community has done this event, and I had never really heard of it before. And if you put one plus two together, then basically what you get is it's not really an event that's geared towards artists who are like me and people in my age group. Now, that being said, I didn't feel like I was out of place. The people who organized the event were very welcoming of me and they're very much like all art is valid. And I mostly got that vibe, but a little bit there were some people who would come by and just be like, oh, this is cute and walk on. And I get it. It's not for everyone. Like if you're here to see painting, like I guess I do do painting, but it's small. It's a little bit different. I you know, nestled around a zillion cartoon cats. But I did get a ton of people who were really excited about what I was doing. Some people who were there from the, just going to the brewery and then like being like, what's all this weird art everywhere? And then some who were on the art crawl. Uh, I always connect well with kids. So the families were totally engaged. Like some of the younger people, some of the older people too. Had a couple of people recognize me from previous events, which is always great. The brand's doing well, yellow stripes, let's go. And overall, it's hard to put an exact number on it, but I made, I think it was like $1,200 over the weekend, but half of that was someone who just outright purchased a commission on the spot, which is pretty sweet. I wasn't expecting that at all. I did have like a little setup for my pet portraits just because those are paintings, so they're kind of like more relevant to the art crawl aspect of it. And someone wanted to buy one of their pupper, love that. So with that and with the $500 that the brewery is um, paying me for a t-shirt design that I did for them, that's basically $1,700 over the weekend. So nothing to sneeze at. Um, <laughs> it just didn't come exactly in the form that I expected. The first day was really busy. Like I mentioned, it was super fun and um, lots to kind of engage with all through the day. And then the next day was really slow. So I mostly just painted. I was by myself and it was even slow in the brewery. So not a lot of just, there wasn't a lot of people around. It happens. Takedown went smooth. I did the draw for the uh, portrait giveaway for with the kitty drawings and that all went really well. And yeah, uh, they did send out like a survey to get feedback about our experience. And they did ask like, would you do this again next year? And I said, probably not only because, well, two reasons. The first reason is that the demographics just like not quite right. So if they did decide to kind of change their advertising and their target audience for the event next year, like maybe I would fit in a little bit better. But then the other reason is because I need a host venue, I want to leave space open for other people to experience the art crawl. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. Uh, thank you so much for making it to the end of this crazy video. I will check in with you all about makers and how that's going to go uh, over the next month or so. And yeah, as I said, spoilers for the next video in the background here. I cannot wait to show you what I am up to this weekend, which is like when you're seeing this video. So it is actually this weekend. And unfortunately, I am finishing this video on my phone. So there is no patron shout out like I would usually do at the end of my videos. But I still want to say thank you so much to all of my supporters over on Patreon, whether you are supporting me for a dollar uh, for downloads and behind the scenes content, or if you are at the 10 or $25 tier to receive mailable surprises every month, every penny counts. And you guys are what is allowing me to make these videos every week, more or less every week, and yeah, not go completely insane. So thank you so much for being here. And if you are not a patron, do consider checking out the link below to see what I have to offer.
And if you really made it to the end of this video, you better subscribe. I know you want to. <laughs> like, leave a comment, let me know what you're being for Halloween. Hello, we're like just a little over a week away. I have three Halloween costumes, by the way. I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging any of it, but I will be posting pictures over on Instagram and stuff. Stay sparkly, don't let the cruel world dull your shine, and I will see you next time. Bye.